This is the book of Job, chapter 5 and verse 14. They meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night. First off, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash, and double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone who do well. Peace and salutations to the Achaean priests, seers, and prophets. So here we go with Kanye West in the Black Boule, all right, uh, showing us their wickedness through their signs, all right, uh, their left hand wickedness, and he's joined on with them, you know. Uh, men like this, this is the window to darkness. And just like you saw at the Super Bowl, right? Wicked E is doing things with his left hand through symbolism. All right, Job 12 and 25, they grope in the dark without light and he maketh them stagger like a drunken man. And that darkness will be the wickedness. All right? Because they have the whole world fooled, but the Israelites have the truth to identify their wickedness. So when they grope in the darkness, we can see through the light of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And this man's going to do a great job breaking this down. So take a listen, and I hope it's edifying. Shalom. Mockery, but that's what they do, and people are so dumbed down now, they don't even realize it. So well, the whole thing is them walking on water in the actual performance here. It's very much similar to the first one, but this has more, uh, it shows a lot more stuff with Revelation. You have the reflection as well. They do a lot of as above, so below. So you'll have the reflection in the water where everything is inverted and upside down. This is witchcraft, hidden in plain sight. In the past when I talked about the Washington Monument, the One World Trade Center, one of the reasons they build a lot of these monuments is uh, around water, like the Washington Monument, because for the reflection to reflect off the water. So the Washington Monument, of course, which is your 666, you have the obelisk, which is bell shaft, reflecting off of the water, reflecting as above, so below. You have the same with the One World Trade Center. So they were doing this with water a lot through this video, using the water as a way of reflecting, showing as above, so below. They also, of course, had the black and white symbolism as the smoke that came out of the church, which obviously was generated, you know, manually on purpose because it was a simulated fire that was occurring. But you see white smoke coming out below as black smoke is coming out above. These things are all done on purpose. As all of you know, this is how these people operate. Now we had a massive mocking, of course, of Christ's return, because that's what this is. He's singing about Jesus. They show what looks like Jesus returning in the sky, a light in the sky. And we get the symbolism with the sun, the sun turning to black and the moon turning to blood. Okay. And all these people around worshiping, it looks like martial law has occurred where, you know, people are dressed up in all black and it looks like military potentially which he did in the first video as well. In Revelation chapter 6, verse 12, when he opened the sixth seal, I looked and behold, there was a great earthquake and the sun became black as sackcloth. The full moon became like blood. It's mentioned many times. Obviously, there's also reference in Matthew 24, 29, just to the, the sun turning black. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Obviously, He's biblically showing you these, not biblically showing, he's showing you these things, mocking scripture, but also telling you at the same time what is going on, right? And these people are mocking because they're playing the roles. They think they're playing the roles of gods here on earth. That's what these people believe. You have more people, of course, dressed up in veils, right? Referencing the lifting of the veil and how the veil will be lifted, walking around in sackcloth over their faces. I mean, it's it's unbelievable that people look at this stuff on 22222 two, 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 and they think that this is some type of oh Kanye was just honoring God. He picked the date 22222 two, 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 because it was like, you know, a cool date to pick. And then he's got the church burning again and he's got Jesus appearing in the sky out of the clouds as all of these people are standing around in a circle in you know, ritual circle again around the church which I covered last time. 
And then, you know, you have all these people dressed up as if it's martial law. And then you bring out Marilyn Manson, <laughs> the guy who's like literally calls himself the Antichrist. I mean, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. It really is unbelievable that people don't believe in God. I can't get past the fact that there's people that will go to this and think it's some type of art display. They're constantly referencing God and the devil. Constantly. They can't stop. You know how much content I have to do still on my channel every day? Because it's everywhere in the entertainment business. Everything that they do, they're referencing God and the devil. They're not hiding it. I'm not pulling this out of my rear end. I mean, you could see it for yourself. You could see it with the sky. What do you think? He's, he's just turning the sun black. Why do you think there's songs like Black Hole Sun and what they're referencing? Okay? They're referencing the Bible because more of these evil, wicked people know scripture than even Christians do. And it's pretty much obviously just a war between Christians and these demonic Satanists. And everybody else in between is just completely lost and, and you know, their souls are just floating around. The gospel was hidden to those that are lost. Yahweh Shai has blinded them. You see, and by us preaching this gospel, all right, the undesirables are waking up. So their darkness will continue, but Jake will keep being awakened. And these people don't listen because they continue their worship of these false idols who are there to deceive them. The guy flat out says he's a liar. I mean, he has videos that I've done before. He has music videos about being a wolf in sheep's clothing. And what more do you need to say? But look, they're showing you here, you know, the, the, the revealing of the sixth seal or the sixth seal being open. That's what they're referencing, right? They're not just going, hey, wouldn't it be cool if the sun turned black and then we had a red blood moon, right? As the church is right there, the church has already been burned. And then, you know, he's singing about God and then the sky opens up and a white, uh, you know, a, a white light comes out of the sky, I mean, it's really unbelievable, the rituals that these people are performing out in the open. And this is not something to honor God. This is not some, oh, this is Kanye's way of giving church to the audience without reading the Bible. He has a Bible where he replaces God with himself. He calls himself Jesus. He legally changed his name to Ye, which is short for Jesus, which is a mockery of Jesus. Right? I mean, what kind of, a, I mean, if you went to a church in your town, okay, and you were like, hey, I'm going to go to this church, check it out, and the guy was referring to himself as Jesus or God in church, you'd be like, holy crap, uh, we have a false, pro you know, we have a guy here calling himself God, this place should be shut down. But since it's a celebrity, everybody's like, oh, it's art and it's a performance. I mean, it's a performance. I don't know one Christian who would ever have the audacity to not only just change the Bible, which, you know, can't imagine what God's wrath is going to be on him, but then to refer your, to yourself as God. But this, like I always say, is what the Masons believe. They believe they are their own gods in their own minds. That's what they believe. And they feel that they're the, they're the enlightened ones and everyone else doesn't have the knowledge, the forbidden knowledge that they know is that. Well, the forbidden knowledge is no knowledge. And that knowledge is that Jesus Christ is king. The forbidden knowledge is knowledge that none of us want, and no one should have ever wanted it. But they, of course, want it because they're pathetic, and they want to be like gods amongst men. But God will not be mocked, and that's what this entire thing is. And when the time comes and, and the king returns, whew, I hate to be on their end of the stick, that's for sure. But I'd love to have a front row seat, not to Kanye's concert, but to the concert that will be occurring when these things get flung into the pit. So... Let's just recap here some of the stuff you saw. The most obvious, of course, is with the sun being darkened and the moon turning to blood, right? And all these people are paying homage. You know, they're standing around watching this occur. They're in a giant ritual circle. What a surprise for the trillionth time. And people still are like, it's not a real, it's not what they're doing. They're getting in a circle. It's just a, four I mean, okay, sure. They're walking on water. You have the reflection as above, so below, along with the smoke coming out. Uh, you have, uh, like I said, him calling himself a liar, which is, I mean, <laughs> you can't get more obvious than that. You have the veils in the audience, of course, the making reference to martial law potentially coming in the end times, as well as a 60-year-old Marilyn Manson rolling out of his coffin to perform there wearing a fur coat. 
boy. Boy, oh boy. So this stuff just continues to happen, of course. And finally, to add to all that, on 2 2 2 2 2. Yeah, it wasn't a ritual or anything like that. He was just he just wrote that on his own. Of course, claims to be some type of Christian prophet or whatever he claims to be, which you have to be really dumb to believe, but you know, I can only say it so many times. I don't understand how any Christians can go and see this stuff and think that this is spiritually fulfilling. I don't see how they cannot see the mockery that's occurring, and I certainly don't understand how they could be okay with somebody who's supposed to be teaching about God or claiming to be, because obviously he's not, referencing himself as God himself. I mean, how blind do you have to be spiritually? Apparently, completely blind, like you've got tar in your eyes. So when we read vessels fitted for destruction, this is what the Lord is talking about. By blinding their eyes, where they believe a lie. All right? And I give all honor and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekha Kadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, Shalom. Thank you.